Hello, my name is Joe, and welcome to another edition of Joe's Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel, where I'm having fun in Elder Scrolls Online. And this is part of Fluffy's Journey. So if you're just coming across this video, it is part of a playlist on YouTube and other video sharing services around the world. So, if you'd like to see the beginning, well, you're going to have to back up a few videos. So, my character here is a Khajiit, but she is part of the Daggerfall Covenant. And she has been questing on the island of Bednik. And she is playing through all the stories and all the quests <clears throat> in ESO. And let's see, we were just finishing up here in the Aelid Ruins the last time when my ISP felt like disconnecting me. Fingers crossed uh, that we're able to <laughs> keep our connection. At least for a little while. Okay, so where are we headed? Ah, back to the fortress. So we have the opportunity to seize the relic for Let's the Covenant, ride. and that's what I did. Unfortunately, there are no shrines available, so we have to ride back. But at least it's not too long of a wow. ride. It is a small island, after all. Oh, let's see what the hunt wife needs. I'm trying to make that sure that I do girl, all the quests. She doesn't know what she's doing. Outlander, have you met Lokra, the chief's daughter? She has a fascination with the lives of adventurers like you. It's unfortunate. Well, if it's so unfortunate, why tell me? <laughs> why is that? As chief daughter, her duty is to be wed to another clan, to forge an alliance. Some seek to escape this honor. Lokra is on the verge of such a mistake. Perhaps you could dissuade her. Seems like a clan affair. It is because you are not of our clan that she might listen to you. If she departs without the blessing of the clan, she will be in exile. We cannot lose our only daughter, nor is Lokra ready to face the life of the clanless. I can talk to her. No mystery where to find Lokra. Check the docks. She'll be there, staring at your ship, if she hasn't already snuck aboard. So Lokra isn't your daughter? Moloch's hand, no. If she were, we would not have these troubles. She is the daughter of Shog, Tazgol's hearthwife. That one's softness has made Lokra selfish and difficult. You don't get along with Shulk? I pay her no <clears> mind. <throat> I only wish I'd given Tazgul a daughter. My boys are strong, but the clan needs more daughters. Hmm. You mentioned the clan's blessing. They won't give it to Lokra? Rarely does a clan permit a daughter to leave, and never without cause. Lokra is the chief's only daughter. We need her to do her duty. If she leaves without permission, well, clanless life is never easy. That seems harsh. Most outsiders view orcs as savage beasts. We have many enemies. We must be harsh to survive. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's see. Ah, so she's down there by the dock. Well, before we go back to the fortress, why don't we have a chat with her? Oh, whoops, wrong dock. There we go. You were among the crew that arrived with Lambor, yes? I envy you. Free to see the world and make of your life whatever you wish. You speak as if you're a prisoner. Shackles are not always made of iron. My destiny was decided when I was born a female. As the chief's only daughter, my duty is to marry into another clan, forging an alliance. It is our way and my fate. Huntwife Lurgish thinks uh, you'll desert the clan. <laughs> if only I had the courage. 
I want nothing more than to see the world before I marry. But I can't. Not without the blessing of my mother and grandmother. I could speak to them for you. Go ahead. It won't do any good. Orc clans survived this way for many generations. It's simply how things are. I understand that, as much as it angers me. Have you considered just leaving? Of course, but that would mean abandoning my clan. I understand the importance of our traditions. I must be sure I'm doing the right thing. Tell me more about your clan. The clan chief is the only male who takes wives. The wives are crucial to the leadership and stability of the clan. Sons eventually try to take over the clan by strength, while daughters are married off to other clans. So you don't want to be a chief's wife? It's not that. I would enjoy the honor and responsibility of being a chief's wife. I just want to see the world, to live my life before I marry for the good of the clan. That sounds reasonable. Mm, of course, I don't know how the uh, other orcs will see it. Help me get back on my feet. All right. Oh, let's see. Who do we have here? <clears throat> ah. Greetings, friend of Lambor. How can an old orc help you? Can we talk about Lokra? I sense Lokra found an ally in you. But your efforts are for naught. I cannot determine her path, nor can her mother or my son, the chief. Then who? Only Lokra can decide. Her sense of duty battles her desire to live her life. Many daughters have chosen exile over the years. I did once. While the decision is Lokra's alone, she seems to value your advice. Hmm. She chose exile once. So exile is not necessarily permanent. After all, since she's here. I think she wants the clan's blessing. She wishes to be free of guilt. She knows what she wants, but fears the consequences. Choices always come with a price. Lokra must choose and accept the cost. <clears throat> what should I tell her? To follow her heart. Lokra knows what she wants, and she knows the cost. She wants to be free, but fears exile from the clan. Her heart knows the path she should follow. <laughs> well, Galarula the Wise, uh, having been exiled once herself, doesn't see it as a complete detriment. Okay, so we have to go inside the fortress here and let everybody know what's been going on. So, you decided the fate of the relic. I did indeed. What did you decide about the relic? I decided to keep it. The Covenant needs it. I disapprove. Many of my people had their souls consumed by that thing. You've condemned others to the same fate. Even so, you saved my tribe. For that, I will respect your decision. Without you, we would all be dead. I hope you made the right choice. It is done. Other matters concern us now. What's next? Your actions have revealed a vulnerability. I thought my tribe safe on our island. This Bloodthorn attack proved me wrong. Only you and your friends on the Spearhead United were able to save this island. What are you asking me to do? Months ago, Sir Lannis offered membership in the Daggerfall Covenant. I refused. You showed me I was wrong. We need allies. I would ask you to travel to Glenumbra and give Sir Lannis my petition to join. I've ordered Captain Colleen to sail you there. I'll forward your petition to join the Daggerfall Covenant. Well, I'm glad the, uh, glad the Chief has seen the light. We could always use more allies in the Covenant. Oh, and the Hearthwife, uh, here, we, we have a little business to discuss. Is there a reason you're in the Chief's chambers? 
If not, be on your way. I want to speak to you about Locra. You met my daughter then. She has spirit, I'll give her that. She'll make a worthy wife. She isn't sure about that. So, she sent you to argue for her. She knows her duty. It is our way. The alliance her marriage makes for our clan will enable us to survive in these dangerous times. What if she promises to return? She is the chief's only daughter. I would rather her be miserable and alive than dead on some fool adventure. But I don't expect an outsider to understand. Well, you know, it's her life. Our lives belong to the clan. Its survival depends on marriage alliances more than strong sword arms. Locra must accept her part and perform her duty. If you want to help, remind her of this. Maybe she'll listen to you. Well, I was hoping you would listen to me, but I guess not. So the chief has a couple of these dogs. I'll be nice and not steal anything. Oh, it's a long way down, <laughs> but I survived. You think you can handle Orcish Brew? Well, not necessarily, but I think you can repair my gear for me. There we go. All right. Well, it looks like... We're all done here on Betnik. I assume my family wasn't especially pleased with an outsider prying into our affairs. Remember, it was your idea. <laughs> well, they were very informative. So what's your opinion after talking to everyone? I really want to know. Hmm. <clears throat> well, your life is your own. Set sail with us and see the world, if that's what you want. You're right. I value my family, but this is my life. I should live it as I choose. I'm going to follow my heart. I'm glad I could help. At last, I find myself looking forward to my future. So you'll leave with us? Yes. I'll say my farewells first. It won't be easy, but I won't sneak out like a thief. My family has a right to hear it from my lips. I'll see you on the ship when you're ready to leave. Okay. Oh, she gives us a nice little bow as a gift. <clears throat> well, this was a nice port. I guess it's uh, onward to Glenumbra from here. I commend you again on choosing to keep the relic for the Covenant. But Chief Tazgold tells me we must hasten to Glenumbra. He's ready to join the Daggerfall Covenant, and I have his official petition. The spearhead is set to sail. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. All right. Well, the adventure on Betnik is over, but there are more adventures ahead of us. We've arrived. Welcome to Daggerfall. Ah. Ah, Joan and Jode are shining brightly over Daggerfall. It's a good omen. <laughs> Especially if you're a Khajiit. Hold, adventurer! You're the one I seek. Is that so? You there! I bring an urgent message from the Skald King. A message from the Skald King? Yes, Urin, High King of Eastern Skyrim. He specifically said it had to be you, though he never told me why. He has a sense about these kinds of things, I guess. Anyway, he wants you to meet with his best agent. Assist her with an urgent matter. Hmm. Urgent matter? Did he say anything else? Only that she's waiting for you in the city, at the Fighters Guild. 
Something to do with a plot that threatens not only Skyrim, but potentially all of Tamriel. Will you go talk to the Skald King's agent? Hmm. Not just yet. I have a feeling this takes us to another chapter. And I would like to finish the base chapter first before moving on to any others. So I'm going to try to avoid any side quests, which will beguile us to uh, other zones that are outside of the, uh, the base game for now. Okay, there we go. Got a nice... Uh, oh, and we can get our writing training for today. Traveler, a moment of your time. Honor and faith, Wayfarer. Blade Master Kasura awaits you at the Rosy Lion in the city of Daggerfall. She requests you join her there at once. Why is a Blade Master interested in me? I do not have all the details, but I believe it has something to do with a Dragon Guard tomb. A former student seeks a solution to the threat facing elsewhere among the remains of that ancient order, and Kasura agreed to assist him. Oh no, elsewhere. <laughs> Again, these are NPCs trying to beguile us to uh, other DLCs. The proud city of Daggerfall greets you. Can I help you with something? I bring a petition. Chief Zargol wishes to join the Daggerfall Covenant. The Seamount War Chief? Impressive. I don't know what you did to convince him, friend. But you have my gratitude. Well done. I will take this petition to High King Emmerich immediately. Enjoy your stay in Daggerfall. All right, thank you. Okay, so let's see. Greetings. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. Oh, what does your benefactor want? If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. Ah, fine then. My benefactor awaits nearby. Do not tarry. Okay, I'll go now. Although, before I go, let me go ahead and empty my bags. I'm carrying a lot of junk with me. Let's see. Um... Aha! Here we are. Nice blacksmithing station. And I'm carrying all this junk around. There we go. And that way we can uh, deconstruct a few items and have them available for crafting later. just debating whether or not I want her to research anything. She's not my primary crafter on this account, but eh, why not? You know what, let, let's go ahead and have her research. Oh, I can only do one. <laughs> Need a little bit more skill in order to be able to do more than one. Whoops, not a nice 160. No, no, no. Wait a minute, did that go through? No, it didn't. Oh, is my ISP about to drop me again? Okay. Whenever uh, ESO starts uh, acting a little wonky, I'm like, oh no, did I lose my connection? Am I about to be dropped again? Another 
Mr. Goose, huh? I always love uh, seeing some of the creative you know names. I've been looking for you. No, not Stuga. Uh, Stuga is another NPC that wants to beguile us, uh, this time to Orsinium. We'll have to talk to her another time. For now, we'll just have to endure it every time she comes running up to us and screaming. Okay, apparently I have a few of these. Ah, oh, well. They're pretty generic, so... And she likes lightning staffs. So, oh, but the only ones I have are my leveling ones. No, we'll, we'll leave those alone. I use those for uh, other characters as they level. King of the Orc, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, and let's see, right over here is the bank. Welcome to the Bank of Daggerfall. All right, great, great. Let's see. Oh, I have a few slots available, not too many, but enough. So all these extra goodies that I'm carrying around can be stuffed into the bank. Well, except for these profit staffs, because those are character bound. Uh, let's see, potions. I have a few. So level seven here we'll throw that in there same thing with that we'll keep all of these apparently i picked up some poisons along the way now i picked up this set here um not realizing um at the time that i opened it that i was going to end up with gear and so i was kind of concerned i was like oh crud if i open it it's going to be stuck at that level so I've gone up four levels, and so let's take a look. Ah, now notice that it's showing level 17. Ta da So as long as I don't open the box, the gear is leveling uh, inside it. So I'll keep the box closed. <laughs> and then when she finally reaches level 50, unfortunately, these are character bound, so I can't put them in the bag. They have to be on her persons, uh, but they will continue to go up and level until um, I reach uh, max level. So I'll just have to keep those closed. I should have opened them on a uh, level 50 character, but I did not when I took them out. Welcome to the Bank of Daggerfall. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have anything else that I can deposit. Or, oh, actually, I take that back. Look at this. We have all these surveys. Or, no, not not withdrawal. No, deposit, deposit, deposit. Uh, um, let's see. Throw all these glyphs in here. Put that in there. And let's see about consuming our recipes. In order to get rid of that. Oh, plus I'm carrying a bunch of stolen items. So here, we'll go and see about uh, disposing of all of that. Um, let's see, it's been a little while, so I have to remember my way to the... Oh, I see there are two entrances here to the Outlaw's Refuge, and I'm here. 
So the easiest way into the refuge would be to go out the gate and uh, get in through the uh, outside entrance, it looks like. Each outlaw's refuge in a major city will have two entrances, one that is frequently patrolled by guards and one that is never, never patrolled. Oh, Stuga is going to assault us every time we, we come anywhere near a city. Ah, here we go. For some reason, this giant door with the outlaw <laughs> insignia on it is just not noticed by the guards. I'm guessing a, a little coin changes hand to keep it that way on a regular basis. Oi! Over here! Isn't it remarkable how things keep falling off the back of wagons? It's amazing. <laughs> okay, this is all junk. Well, except for this, which, uh, hmm. Oh, I could learn from that. Oh, well. I guess uh, next time I do some research, I'll research my stolen item. That's the nice thing is, is that you don't have to own an item in order to deconstruct it or take it apart for research. Stamina recovery. Um, treasure. You know what? We'll go ahead and we will fence this. Oh, apparently I have a large stolen shipment too. I don't buy stolen goods. Oh, just kidding you. Of course I do. <laughs> all right. So, well then you can buy all of that. I'll keep the stolen boots and then uh, deconstruct those later. So, good, good. This way we have uh, plenty of room for whatever adventures we have. Oh, and since we noticed that we have some poison, might as well start using that. So here, I'll, I'll socket that, and basically I've coated my staff with poison, and each time I use it, it will be poisoning people. All right, so let's see what our benefactor wants. What do you say we try some of the local fare? Famished. No food for you, Miri. Let's see, as I recall, ah, there it is. There's one little unassuming house right here at at the front gate that uh, is the one they want us to go through. Now, I'm going to go ahead and we'll end this video here. So join us next time here on Joe Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel, where we'll find out what the, uh, the special benefactor has for us. I think it'll be a new adventure. I'm looking forward to it. So we'll continue Fluffy's journey. Sorry, this was a short one, but uh, since we've reached this one, it's going to start off a, a new adventure. It, oh, good grief. Thanks, NPC. Um, we can start things off uh, from the beginning. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to, to start a fresh uh, video for a fresh adventure. See you next time.